divinity representing uh, the idea of Mother Earth of fertility that was called in Greek Gaia. So the carriage now they it's not a very proper archaeological term. Uh, you can try navel. It's the navel of Delphi. It's the symbol of Delphi. A little bit serious. It's a stone that represents the center of the universe. And there is a story behind it. Uh, which may not be exactly true because again it's mythology but it shows uh, why Delphi was chosen as a place for the oracle. Explain where we are. We're on, uh, on top of, we're in Athens to begin with and we're at the uh, light and sound show for the Acropolis. Uh, we are approximately... What's the name of this hill? You said a pink... Oh, P-Y-N-X hill, however it's pink or something, hill. And we're approximately a half mile from the Acropolis, dominated by the, uh, the Parthenon. Not the restaurant, the, uh, the, the Parthenon temple. And uh, we're about to uh, witness, uh, we don't know what, uh, but it's some kind of a light and sound show. And it looks like lights just went on here, so we'll see what's going to happen. Heracles will speak. What does he propose to say to us? You'll see. He'll spot the happens. Hasn't he been right? He's going to see this host of wonders. Are they not his? Aeschylus once told me, when thou hast a heart, a soul, and a mind, thou canst hardly refrain from speaking of Athens without exaggeration. How could there ever be exaggeration? Is not Athens perfect? How was it? Still went up the stairs. I couldn't make it. So how was it? Very slick. Yeah. <laughs> Glad I didn't try. No, it's not that bad. Fine. It's just that it's uh, the rock is really polished. Uh huh. Took a picture of it. Oh yeah. This is the back side of the the uh, Parthenon in the Acropolis with all the tourists up there. We're headed up there next. Hope the rocks aren't as slippery. The entrance to the Acropolis just below uh, uh, the Parthenon. It's Athens, uh, what you just saw was Athens looking to the north. And uh, now the camera's swinging around basically to the south. Um, right into the light. Yeah, that's the that's the part there. Hey Laura. Oh, you take the Thank you. Parking on there. The lines at the top of the pillars with uh, decorative slabs in between. Most of the decorative slabs are gone. You can see one in the corner. It still remains. It's a relief of a uh, two people who look like they're fighting, um, which uh, they did a lot in antiquity. Uh, but just inside of the pillars themselves are uh, the actual wall of the temple, and inside of the temple were different statues. Uh, we're told it wasn't used for um, uh, a worship service like uh, we have in a modern church, but people would go in and admire the, uh, the statues. But there would be uh, private uh, prayers and, and uh, offerings on the outside of the temple somewhere around the grounds with the uh, surrounding buildings. But the temple itself is almost like a museum. Here's a picture of my cute honey standing in front of the Parthenon. I'm going to take a picture of my cute honey. Yes. <laughs>
la bandiera. No, venite più in qua, Stefano Alessio, venite più in qua. The Acropolis up there. Site of Zeus's temple. It's the Olympic Stadium. Acropolis over there. <laughs> Soldier, which is dedicated to all the soldiers who have fought and died for Greece throughout the centuries. You're looking at the Agora, uh, or Agora, uh, which is the area below the Acropolis. We're shooting it from the top of the Acropolis. This was really the business uh, and uh, center where people would actually conduct their business. Uh, uh, there was a ceramic area there, uh, which was important to Athens' uh, economy in the 5th century BC, and it was one of the causes of the Peloponnesian War, the right to uh, the, the, uh, the uh, exportation of it and the competition with uh, with uh, uh, I think it was uh, a court, it was not I forget the name of the town they were competing with. Anyway, that temple is uh, one of the temples built down there, and I don't remember the exact reason, uh, but it's changed names a couple of times through the centuries. <laughs> That's the Church of uh, St. Sophia. in Istanbul. Looking 
outside of the top copy area. about 500 years. I told you, there are no pictures in Islam. So what happened here, when the Turks came, instead of destroying them, they covered them with whitewash and plaster. Now approaching the Blue Mosque in Istanbul. Let's a look back at the St. Sophia Cathedral, the, Saint, the Church of St. Sophia. We're in the courtyard of the Blue Mosque, about to enter and take a look at it. We are now inside the Blue Mosque in Istanbul. The ceiling is approximately uh, 250 feet high, 230 maybe. This is our area here. over there. It's an old windmill from the 18th century. Thank you. 
and at the stairway. So this is one of the... There are quite a lot of different... Uh, as they may tell you, that Odessa is the best city in the world. You know, they're very proud of their native city. And do, they, do you know how they call Odessa? Who knows? No. Whose parents actually, who, who, has ori who has Odessa origin? Some of you. Do you know how it is called? Odessa Mama. And foundation of democratic independent uh, on the, uh, of Germany, of the uh, foundation of the United Nations Organization. As so here you can see a video, uh, it costs uh, five dollars. another announcement about not using flash especially during and I know everyone's not in this room right now uh, even during a dress rehearsal I had the misfortune of having somebody stand right next to me during the last eclipse and started flashing at totality uh, well it looks like you want to say something Marcy has black tape Marcy has black and tape and there's also some white artist tape you know, we're going to make this the last question because in a few minutes the uh, bells will ring <laughs>
That means it's lunchtime. We didn't even use 14. Are we excited? We are excited. <laughs> Very excited. Yeah. All, all three of you, it's your first one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Watch all new experts. <laughs> <laughs>
horizon. Oh my god. Oh, look at that horizon, Katie. Look all the horizon is just gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, the first time we got getting prominences at 3 o'clock. Oh, oh yeah. Stay a while, please. Stay a while. Oh, oh, look, oh, at my God. oh look at the red oh, thing. Look at that. The light over here. It is so bright. And the shadow is going on the side now. So enthusiastic about this. So what did you both think? Oh, I wouldn't use this. And they should stop it in the middle. <laughs> because two redness is a very large. They are fast. <laughs> Mike? Wow. Incredible. Jerry? That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It was black and white, red, yellow. It was just unbelievable. I got enough diamond rings for everybody. <laughs> Position, and this will be published, but I'll, I'll tell you anyway, so that uh, those of you who like to memorize statistics rather than write them down. Uh, it was 43 degrees, 6.615 minutes north latitude, and uh, 29 uh, degrees, uh, 43 minutes east, uh, 43.069 minutes east longitude. Uh, it was darker than I expected. It was hard to read the clocks. And compared to the last two eclipses, and by that I, I mean 1998 in the Caribbean, 1995 in the South China Sea, for me, this eclipse was darker. Stay a while. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the red thing. 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 